So this is a, the idea that women will be prosecuted specifically for miscarriages. Um, yeah. Like, okay. like, is, is, like it, people are asking, is miscarriage care now illegal, especially given that, as a lot of people know, sometimes, and, and Andrew mentioned this earlier, like sometimes after a miscarriage, a DNC procedure is, I, I have a very pro-life friend. I actually think he's watching this, if, if I'm not uh, mistaken. And he and his wife tragically has had several miscarriages. And I know at least one time they had to have a DNC procedure after for the sake of her health. And and it's like, that's just really hard thing. And of course, I, you know, as a friend, like trying to like help make sure you need to understand this is completely different than abortion. I know the procedures are the same but it's completely morally different. So the fact that DNCs happen in that situation too, I think is why a lot of people are asking about this. Yeah. So the first part of the question is, should women be prosecuted for miscarriage? We've already basically answered that by what our statement is on prosecution. The more interesting question becomes then, is miscarriage care essentially now illegal? Would a doctor who is doing some sort of miscarriage care, would that doctor be held liable under the law and be prosecuted for that? This is yet another moment. If you take nothing away from this webcast except this, this is yet another moment to highlight the amazing work from Secular Pro-Life on this and a whole lot of other questions that we've talked about this afternoon. And so I'm going to throw a link in the chat to a Secular Pro-Life article where they talked about specifically 16 different pro-choice claims about Dobbs and the pro-life movement. And this is, I believe, the very first one that they highlight. And Tim, if you could throw that up on the screen just so people can see it really quickly. They talk about the idea of what a miscarriage actually is. The medical, actually, I, I apparently wrong. It was not the first one. Maybe it was the second one on here. Anyways, this is the article I was talking about. It goes through a bunch of different arguments that people may be making post Dobbs. It's a really great resource with a lot of sources. And so I just want people to be aware that it is there because it is amazing. And you can see some of those lovely graphics that I put up on the screen earlier are there too. So thank you for showing that, Tim. You can take that down. Uh, but the medical terminology for a miscarriage is a spontaneous abortion. So I can totally see why this would be confusing for people. If people are hearing that abortion is illegal and the medical terminology for miscarriage is spontaneous abortion, it makes sense that you would think that now miscarriages are illegal. But there essentially are issues with how laws are using terminology here because laws don't usually use medical definitions. I think they should use medical definitions. That would make our lives a lot easier, but they don't. And that's why abortion legislation needs to explicitly say that miscarriage management isn't illegal. And luckily they do. They do say that. I think it'd be a lot easier if we just had the terminology in the first place that didn't make this kind of clarification necessary, but Thankfully, all of these laws are making it very clear that miscarriage management isn't illegal. And so I'm going to throw up on the screen an example from the Texas heartbeat law that was brought to my example from brought to my attention from that example from Secular Pro-Life. And if we throw that up on the screen, I can show you the specific question. Um, that is Texas heartbeat law. Fabulous. Okay. So if we scroll down a little bit, it says that an act is not an abortion. That's a little too far, Tim. <laughs> A little too far. Beautiful. Uh, this is the section that I want. Abortion means the act of using or prescribing an instrument, a drug, or any other substance device, or means the attempt to cause the death of a child. An act is not an abortion if the act is done with the intent, A, to save the life or preserve the health of an unborn child, B, to remove a dead unborn child whose death was caused by spontaneous abortion. See, here they actually use the word spontaneous abortion, for which I am very grateful. Can we make all of the laws say that? So they used the medical term in order to be very clear. But they were also clear even if they hadn't said spontaneous abortion about removing a dead unborn child. I think this is a great example of a really well-written law and all the laws could be a little more clear, but they didn't even need to be because they said the first part of the sentence. Or to remove an ectopic pregnancy. Also note, ectopic pregnancy is brought up again here. And so this is a really great, well-written law. Now you can throw up that whole graphic of the uh, US map, Tim. I want to throw credit again to Daniel Gump for his research on this and what the specific miscarriage laws are. There are 37 states that explicitly state treatment for a miscarriage is not an abortion. 
The rest don't mention miscarriage specifically. They don't say the word spontaneous abortion or say the word miscarriage. I'm not super concerned about it. Just looking at what states they are. It's states, again, like Oregon, like California, that don't have these kinds of restrictions in place in the first place. And so they don't need to have a specific exception for a miscarriage treatment. And I do think that it is good for us to keep lobbying for every single state to very specifically say miscarriage treatment in there. However, it's still all lumped in under the life of the mother type of exception, which we already know applies in every single state from what we talked about earlier. Because if a miscarriage is not treated, it can be very life-threatening to the woman. And so we don't really have to have a specific exception written for miscarriage, but I agree that there should be. Let's try to get it in every single state. If there is any law that is ever proposed that specifically says miscarriage treatment is not okay, you know, that is illegal, you can't treat a miscarriage, I will be lobbying extremely hard against that, as will, I think, the entirety of the pro-life movement. But that is just not the, what the situation is right now. You can get treatment for a miscarriage in every single state, and that fear-mongering is just plain not true.